Hello all, it's me again. Another week, another super awesome opportunity to share knowledge and learn new things. So welcome to week eight. Next week is spring break. So a reminder that everything between now, so this week, week eight, week one and week eight, anything between week one to week eight is due the Sunday of week nine. So you have spring break to complete all of your assignments if you have not started. Um, please, please complete your assignments. They're all due. They're all due April 9th. It's coming up. All right, let's get this overview started. We are on week eight. Obviously, you have found the overview. We are going over chapter 15, the influences of stereotypes, prejudice, prejudice. Pre oh my gosh, prejudice. There we go. And discrimination. Uh, the PowerPoint is there as always. Say mini lecture. Our additional videos. I'm actually super excited about the additional videos this week. We have a TED Talk from the amazing Jennifer Witter. We have Hank Green. I'm not sure if you guys know Crash Course. Um but he gives a good, pretty solid explanation about prejudice and discrimination and stereotyping. And then we also have a video on cultural diversity and the three R's of the skilled dialogue, which is respect, re res res recipiating that. Yeah, you can read that word. I don't know why I can't say it right now. And respond. All right. And then after our additional videos, we have to reply to discussion four if you haven't done so already. And then we have our uh, reflective practice four, which is project implicit. The, this is a little different. So you're going to click this link. Let's see if it'll let me. Why won't it? There we go. So yeah, you're going to click this link. If you're not 18, please don't do this. You have to be 18 or older. So if you're not 18, please email me. Um, and we, I have a separate assignment for you because you do have to be 18 or older to do this. Um, so you're going to scroll down, say, I wish to proceed. And it should take you to this page and you can pick any of these tests that you want. So you're just going to click on it and you're going to take the test or quiz. Um, and then once you have done that, I'm inviting you to answer these six questions. So which test did you take? Did your test results reveal a preference or relative link between the main topics of your test? Um, so if you took the gender career test, did your results reveal a link between family and females and between career and males? Uh, things like that. Based off of your results, what did you learn about yourself and your biases? Um, how can you use the information from your results and apply it to your role as an early childhood educator? The fifth question is, what was your experience like taking the test? Was it uncomfortable? Was it comfortable? I want to know more. And then for the sixth question, did you learn something new about yourself? And if you did, what was it? So you're going to take the test, answer the six questions, and submit your response to Canvas. Uh, your responses can be in a video, they can be audio, they can be a text entry or via a document. Um, I really want to provide a lot of flexibility with how you guys submit your responses um, to best fit your own individual needs. As always, this is grade goals, so you need six out of seven reflective practices for an A. You need to complete five out of seven reflective practices for a B, and you need to replete complete four out of seven reflective practices for a C. The encouraged due date is obviously this upcoming Sunday. It is all due April 9th. Um, please, <laughs> please don't create more work for yourself later. Please do this now if you can. Um, it's also really fun. I really enjoyed taking the quiz and learning more about myself. And then as always, we have a wonderful rubric. And then our, oh, check in. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? And then we have our check-in. 
This is the just like check in one. So you're going to answer the questions. Um, it's essentially asking, what have you completed so far? What do you still need to complete for your grade goal? Are you on track to reach your grade goal? Those are kind of the questions that are part of this check in two. Um, I just want to make sure you know what you need to complete. You're on track to earn the grade goal that you chose in week one. Um, and if things have changed, this is a good opportunity to let me know. Um, and then we have our checklist. As always, oh my gosh, I haven't done it. You will have your checklist as always. Um, I hope you have a fabulous week. And then I hope you have a fabulous spring break next week. Um, that's all for now. Uh, I will see you the week of April 9th. All right. Bye. Oh my gosh, it's not working. Okay, there we go. Unofficial bye.